Oh, hello there. You notice I'm not in my kitchen. Yes, I'm on vacation, but don't worry. I've asked friends of the show to do some guest hosting. Now, our first guest host today needs no introduction, but I'm gonna do one anyway. Some know him as Coach McGurk from Home Movies. Others as Archer, whose final season uh, starts on August 30th on FXX. Uh, some as Bob from Bob's Burgers, Sunday nights on Fox. And still others as the jazz daredevil, the genius behind Well, I Should Have and the soundtrack collection. And the man who created the jazz daredevil canned whiskey highball, available at jazzdaredevil.com or select liquor stores. And for the record, he didn't ask me to say any of that. Hello, welcome to Sandwiches of History. I'm Ace Sean Benjamin, filling in for Barry, who is on vacation. I mean, I'm sure he is really on vacation, but honestly, sometimes you never really know someone, who they are, what they do in their private life. Anyway, today from uses and preparations of Maine sardines, America's all around seafood cookbook, we are going to be making the Maine rare bit sandwich. It's going to get pretty Maine. Okay, first we're going to toast some bread. I don't have white, I have wheat, which I know is a mistake, but this will probably be the first mistake out of many. Then melt two tablespoons of butter into a saucepan. This is the start of the rare bit sauce. Once the butter is melted, it says remove it from the heat. And then add two tablespoons of flour. Two. Half a teaspoon of dry mustard. And then gradually stir in a cup of milk. Oh dear, it's not so gradual. Oh Lord, pretty gradual. Started off fast, but then got gradual. I think that's good. Okay, it doesn't say put back on the heat, but I'm guessing to put it back on the heat and thicken the, the sauce here. So I'm doing that now. This is the, uh, this is my best guess. Okay, thickening it. Totally thickening it. Making progress. Okay, I thickened that, and then it says to add a cup of sharp cheddar cheese, a little salt, a little pepper, and half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Oh, not bad. There we go. Then, Put your sardines, this is just keeps going on. Put your sardines in a skillet and heat them up. Uh, I used sardines from the Azores, not Maine, even though this is the Maine rabbit sandwich, uh, because my sister went to the Azores. Okay, then take your sardines from the skillet, arrange them on the toast, and then it says, dump your cheese sauce right over that. Oh Lord, oh no, oh my Lord, no. Why the thickened it a little too much? But that just looks. All right, let's give this uh, main via the Azores rare bit sandwich a good talking to. It's my switch up on Barry's. Give it a go. You know, it's a lot milder than I thought it was going to be. And even a lot lighter than I thought, given the, you know, creaminess and cheesiness of that gloppy cheese sauce. But it definitely cuts the fishiness of the sardines. I think I might have added a little too much of the cheese sauce. There's that faint taste of sardines in the background. But a lot of grilled, or not grilled cheese, but cheese, a lot of cheese forward but totally didn't think it was going to be as like mild as it is. Um, but I think we can plus it up. Okay. I'm going to add a little arugula and a little barnacle foods, Alaskan bull whip, piri piri hot sauce. Very good. Still no main, but we got Alaska in there. All right, let's give this uh, plussed up uh, main rare bit sardine sandwich a go. So the arugula definitely has got that freshness and kind of bitterness that cuts the heaviness of the cheese and works well with the sardines. And the hot sauce is really good. 
So I've never obviously tried this before, but my plus up worked. Okay, so the uh, main uh, Via de Azores and Alaska rare bit sandwich uh, was surprisingly good. I did not think it was going to be good. I think anything, uh, I mean, sardines are a big ask for a lot of people anyway. And then to just dump a bunch of cheese on top, uh, you know, I, I, I was thinking this is not going to be good, but uh, surprisingly good. I. Uh, would I do this again? This show? No. Uh, would I make that sandwich again? Probably not. Uh, just given the, you know, the, the process was a little bogged down. But, um, but definitely good. I'm going to give the original uh, uh, six and a half. And with my plus up with arugula and hot sauce, I'm going to go seven. So solid seven. So Barry, thank you for having me. Uh, all of you, thank you for watching. And I will probably not see you tomorrow because I'm not going to do this tomorrow. <laughs>